how lovely is that? You've just heard a small clip from uh, Mariachi Paratotos. It's a program through the nonprofit Austin Sound, uh, Sound Waves, pardon me, electric violinist and the founder of Mariachi Rock Revolution, Hayden Vitera, has an upcoming performance, which is an awesome way to kick off Hispanic Heritage Month to support this community program. He's joining us to tell us more. He's got a busy schedule. We are grateful he is here. Hayden, good morning. Good morning, how are you? It's I'm, great to be here. I'm happy to have you in the studio. Let's talk about how you got into music. Uh, music, uh, I'll give you the Cliff Notes version because we could be here all day. <laughs> um, when I was uh, six years old, I started classical piano. My mom sang opera in Mexico, where she's from. And so it was very important for her to, to have me learn classical. So, but I always wanted to play violin. I don't know why, ever since I was a good talk, right? Two years later, she found me a violin teacher in Houston, and we started going every week. I grew up in El Campo, it's an hour away, so every week from age eight all the way through high school, we'd go. My, me, my brother, my sister, learned oh. classical violin. Uh, then moved to Austin. I fell in love with Austin when I did a, like a UIL competition here. Sure. Came to UT, ended up playing a UT symphony. Um, then went and worked a day job for a while, but was playing some country gigs. Then I got my big break with Rick Trevino in 1997. I got to be his fiddle player at the tender age of 22. Oh, that's and so cool! And toured and recorded with him, and then all the Texas music guys, Corey Morrow, Kevin Fowler, Pat Green, that whole scene. Uh, and then I got picked up with the Sleep at the Wheel, 2003. Played with them for two years, a great honor to you know, be, spread the gospel of Bob Wills all over the world. Uh, and I was doing original music as well. Started doing the Latin rock thing in 2005 and then started with this, then finally kind of all, it all came together. Like my mom's from Mexico, so I was always listening to mariachi music. But then in high school, I was a big metal head, Metallica and all the 80s rock stuff, Pantera too, you know. So uh, we got, I uh, decided like, how, let's mix the Latin and mariachi so beautiful. And it's so far beyond just what most people are exposed to, you know, like in the restaurant or whatever, you know, it's, it's just as complicated as classical music. Plus, you got to play multiple instruments, sing, and do your hat at the right time. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, not that I'm doing the hat, but anyway, um, yeah, so I decided to mix the two, and it just kind of came together. Uh, like I was telling you earlier, we had a show uh, booked with my rock band to open for a group called Metalachi from uh, L.A., and they, do, they mix mariachi and rock as well. So my band got booked, and I had met a beautiful girl named Vanessa del Fierro from San Antonio. She's got an all-female mariachi, Las Coronelas. Mm -hmm. We're like, well, we should, we should work on something together. So when I got that gig, I was like, hey, you want to bring some of the girls and play? And we put together a nine-piece band, and it was like magic right from the start. So we actually, that was 2014, so we're kind of celebrating our 10-year anniversary this year. It's gone through many changes throughout the years, and we didn't work it constantly. But uh, yeah, 10 years of mariachi rock revolution. That is so. incredible, and I think people at home just heard classical, opera, <laughs> rock, country. I mean, my goodness, the amount of genres that you have the ability to play. Yes. Your band is super cool. I, thank okay, you. you've got this upcoming performance. It's on the very first day, actually, of a Hispanic Heritage Perfect. Month. It worked out perfectly. It sure did. Yes, Tell me about it. It is September 15th, Sunday, at the Long Center. Very excited to play that beautiful venue. 7 p.m., and uh, we're going to be doing my eight-piece mariachi rock revolution uh, group, uh, which is a hybrid of mariachis and metalheads, right? And then we're going to also invite Mariachi Clásico, which is one of the, uh, the top mariachis here in Austin, to join us. So we're going to have 16 people on wow. stage. It's basically the elevator pitch for this band is Mexican Trans-Siberian Orchestra. <laughs> <laughs> we take mariachi and we do what, what, what Trans-Siberian does to Christmas carols, we do to mariachi music. Also, very honored that the guy who gave me my whole start in this business, Mr. Rick Trevino, is going to be there performing with us. I mean, you get to see Rick play with a mariachi rock group. And he'll also do a mari some mariachi songs with the mariachi by themselves. Also, one of my ultimate heroes, Grammy winner, the godfather of Tejano music, El Gato Negro, Ruben Ramos, is going to be with us. I met him when we were doing Los Super 7 gigs with Rick. And that guy, I've always said, he's who I want to be when I grow up. Oh. The coolest cat with the shades and the suit, and he just owns the crowd. So for them to be joining us, they're going to perform together with the band. It's going to be, it's going to be a magical night that, that, uh, of something that no one's ever seen, definitely here in Austin. I'm so, so glad you bring that up because it does sound like it's kind of a one night only. 
all it of is. these fantastic musicians getting together for one fantastic performance that will never be duplicated or replicated right. kind of thing. Until so. next year, hopefully we'll do it again. But uh, it's not <laughs> going to be a regular better. thing, that's for sure. That's right. Okay. <laughs> Talk to us about Mariachi para Todos. That's the nonprofit organization that y'all are sending the ticket, you know, beneficiary to. Yes. Uh, we are so excited. Mariachi para Todos, as you saw in the beginning of the segment, it's uh, Austin Soundwaves is a wonderful a nonprofit here in Austin that, that works in music and gets music programs to schools that don't have them. They, they do endless things. AustinSoundWaves.org is their website. They have a mariachi group that meets every Monday from 7 to 9 over at Southwest Key that anyone in the community can come for free. And if you want to learn mariachi, you can sit there and learn. Um, so cool. It's such a beautiful thing because the mission is, you know, to spread mariachi to, to everyone and to support the community and grow the mariachi scene here in Austin and beyond, you know. Um, I first learned of them through um, one of the guys in, in my band, Juan Diaz, who's an amazing mariachi musician and a Latin rock guy. He was actually asked to uh, be one of the teachers uh, mm -hmm. a while back. He couldn't do it because of his day job and other commitments. But we were going to be playing the, the Day of the Dead Festival last year at the Pan Am Hillside for the MAC. Uh, Mexican American Cultural Center. I wanted to invite Mariachi Para Todos to come do that. They were too busy. Uh, they had other things going on that day. So, but it's kind of stuck in my mind. I'm like, what a beautiful idea. You know, it's an intergenerational. It's from ages 10 all the way. People in their 50s, 60s can come. Um, so, what a perfect organization to benefit, you know, to, to support mariachi music and the mariachi scene in Austin in general. And we're looking to, uh, like the proceeds will go to getting them their own instruments. They don't have a set of instruments. So we're, our goal is to buy two of each. Oh, wow. Little Noah's Ark of mariachi. Oh you my know? goodness. What and, cultural uh, enrichment. Yeah. So, yes. and to support them and, you know, money for travel. They want to expand the program. They're moving into a new location in 2026. It's a growing program, nothing but great people from Austin Soundwaves. And I went to my first mariachi rehearsal with them a couple of weeks ago, and I played a little guitar called the vihuela, which is kind of like a guitar and a ukulele, but it's a very different technique. So I'm like, let's stretch and grow, you know? And I went, and it was like being a like first year student again, because I'm sitting there, but the, the teacher, Susana Diaz Lopez, is an amazing instructor. And I felt right at home and everybody welcomed me. And I'm going to be going again because, you know, I, like I said, I come from the rock background and country. Never really played a mariachi gig. But my goal is by the end of the year to play a gig with Mariachi Para Todos. Oh, you know? it's amazing. So we'll have to come back and check with you on that when that, that happens. That sounds good. <laughs> we'll have to have you back. Thank you so much for your time. Thank hey, you. We appreciate it. Guys, you can get tickets to Mariachi Rock Revolution, benefiting Mariachi Para Todos, at thelongcenter.org. Now he is putting on his electric violin. Can you believe it? Hayden Vitera plays to us to break with his song, La Vibora.